I was probably wanting to ditch him in my cart after the first hole. Um, we played at Craig Ranch and the first hole um, kind of goes a little uphill and you can't see the bottom of the pin and and so we're in the fairway and he hits a shot and he hits it like right at the pin but you can't see it land because the green's elevated and he puts his club down in the bag and looks at me and he's just like, I hate hitting it dead perfect every time. And I was just like, 17 more holes. I was like, I who is this guy? This guy is such a tool. And so we, you know, we drove off and then the third hole, I hit it into the ferry bunker and I asked him like, hey, like obviously he's on the main my tour, he's pretty good. So I'm like, so what do you do like with, you know, ferry bunkers? How do you, is there something you do different? He's like, I don't know, I just hit it. And I'm like, oh, genius over great, here. Great like, insight, never thought right? about that before. And world, so yeah. after that, I was just kind of, it just kind of validated why I wasn't dating anybody and I had kind of made my mind that I was just gonna marry golf and pursue the Lord, and and um, he was just just very annoying. And so the next day we went to NASCAR to pick up our passes, and uh, he found out that I was a member at Lakewood in Dallas. And he was like, "Hey, why don't, why don't I get your number and go play sometime?" And at that time, I there was a little filter in your brain that filters your words, and I had removed that. And so I told him. I was like, well, if you're going to ask me out, you might as well do it now, and I could say no, and we could be friends. And he kind of just looked at me, so I gave him my number, and he walked away, and I was like, wow, it worked. And so, <laughs> uh, come Monday, he called. He didn't Facebook stalk me or text me, and he was like, hey, you want to go play some golf? And so I'm like, okay, well, I guess I'll give him a second chance. And he was a little less annoying, um, but uh, we got through it, and he... Um, magically forgot his range finder which to this day I think he did it on purpose so of course I had to see him again and then just started uh, hanging out and went to his birthday party with his family which was it was a little quick for me but I did it and then pretty soon I was at Q school and we were going through a Bible study and not even like a year later we were married so what uh, so what was your secret in bouncing back from the initial rebuff there <laughs> well I just she was a member at Lakewood at the time, and as a um, as a guy who grew up in the south part of Dallas, Lakewood is looking pretty good. Nice and track. Uh, nice track, yeah. and so I thought, man, that'd be cool uh, to go play. And she is my age and a good player. I'm like, that'd be really, it would be cool to go play and hang out. And, um, I didn't think anything of it at the time, but. Uh, but yeah, and so we went and played and um, started hanging out a little bit more that week. But, but yeah, we bounced back. So. <laughs>